On this episode of the Musk and Hustle Show, ooh, it's getting kind of cold outside. So we're going to talk about occasion, time of day, and temperature when choosing your nitro musk. And of course, as always, we'll have another giveaway, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome to episode number five of the Musk and Hustle Show and update number six of our fall 2017 Kickstarter campaign. Let's get right into the update. First off, welcome newbies. This is gonna be a really awesome update for you guys because I'm gonna give you some information that is really handy if you're just getting into Nitro Musk. So let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about occasion, time of day, and temperature when you're picking out your Nitro Musk. Here where I live, we get all four seasons very distinctly and it's starting to get a little bit cool. I've pulled out my hoodie, I'm ready for the fall temperatures, getting into winter a little bit. So let's talk about how to change up your nitro musk based on the temperature and occasion. So right off the bat, when choosing nitro musk, I'm just gonna read right off of the little infographic that's at the bottom of the campaign page. If you haven't scrolled all the way down, there's a really cool infographic that sort of explains all this. So I'll just touch on it really briefly here. Um, when choosing the right nitro musk, first consider the occasion, next consider the temperature, and finally, will you be wearing it during the day, the night, or both? Meaning, will you wear it in the morning and then you'll still be wearing that into the night and you've got some activities going on at night? So right off the bat, let's talk about temperature first. And all of our nitro musks are labeled with these colored stickers. So you've got orange, you've got yellow, and you've got blue. So orange, yellow, and blue. So these, temp these colors on our stickers are based on the temperature rating. Um, they don't have to do with the occasion or the time of day. So hot would be our yellow fragrances. This is number 170. Hot is anything above 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. So these are going to be your light, fresh, citrus, aquatic, and green fragrances. Then you've got your warms. These are going to be between 65 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit and a, about 18 to 30 degrees Celsius. Now these aren't exacts, okay? So if, if it says 65 to 85, you could really go all the way down probably to 55 and up to about 90 with these orange fragrances and be really, really safe. And then our blues are gonna be below 65 degrees Fahrenheit and below 18 degrees Celsius. So these orange ones are gonna be your more musky, woody, floral fragrances. This one, for example, is 107. And this one is great for just about anything. It's super versatile. And then this is number 105. We've talked a lot about number 105. Heavy, dark, deep leather. These are your leathers, your tobaccos, your heavy smoke scents. So this is gonna be 105, this is gonna be number uh, 48. Um, I'm trying to think of a few of the others. So these, and these again, are really, really awesome for anything. Uh, you could even go up, these ones are probably a little more strict. I wouldn't go much above 65 degrees with these, but depending on the occasion or the time of day, you might. So let's get into that really quick. Um, actually, before that, let's talk day again, at day and night. So with daytime, you're going to be talking light, fresh, citrus, greens, aquatics. And that's, so when you're talking daytime, you're going to be mostly talking your, your yellows and your oranges. Okay. And then nighttime is going to again, be your deep, heavy, dark, smoke, leather, warm spices. So you might at night, you might get a little bit into the oranges, but you're going to mostly be the blues with nighttime, and then casual is gonna be loud, sharp, sporty, citrus, aquatic, and, and sharp spices. So again, for casual wear, you're gonna be mostly yellows and oranges. And then for formal, you're talking smooth, light, warm, vetivers, warm woods, oak moss, and light leather. So with your formal, you're again gonna be more in your oranges and blues and not so much your yellows. So that's a good way to look at the fragrances based on these different characteristics and these different designations that we've given them. So really quick, let's talk about a couple of the examples that are there on the website or on the Kickstarter campaign. So a daytime winter wedding. Uh, number six, we've got number 98 and number 126. So a daytime winter wedding, you're gonna be formal. So you wanna be smoother and lighter. You don't wanna be really sharp. You don't wanna be talking your really loud fragrances. But because it's during the daytime, you can get a you can lean a little bit more towards the oranges, and then because it's uh, cold, you could be actually even talking a little bit more about the blue fragrances. So, number six is a really good one. Number six uh, is an orange, I believe, on our on our list, and it's a smooth sage, a warm incense, an 
Aquatic Sea Notes and Herbal Rosemary is, is all in number six. Number, number 98 has got Smooth Vetiver. It's got really sweet vanilla, fresh mint, and warm cedar and tonka. And number 126, we've talked a lot about that one, so I won't go into a lot of detail on that one. But 126 is great for just about anything that's really formal. So next example two, Backyard Barbecue. So this one, for a barbecue casual in the summer, warm or hot, and then at night, you can go with citrus and aquatic notes, which are casual. You can uh, go that are light and fresh, which is warm or hot weather. And then, but you could also include deeper notes of smoke, leather, or warm spices, which is sort of the nighttime. So good choices could include for this one, number 107, which is your fresh jasmine and rosemary notes in there, your lemon and orange, which is the citrusy notes, and then your warm musk and fur in number 107. Man, this is such a good, well-rounded fragrance for just about any time. And then another good one, number 163 is a really, really unique fragrance like we talked about in the last update. Fresh violet leaf, citrus bergamot, and spicy pink pepper in number 163. That's a great one for a backyard barbecue, I'll tell you what. And then number 174, 174 is an amazing fragrance. Fresh juniper, citrus, which is grapefruit and lemon, and then spicy pepper. That is a great one for a casual sort of a backyard barbecue atmosphere. And then example number three is a day at the office. And in this example, it's an average day at the office wearing a tie and dress slacks, so semi-formal. And when considering a, a, a fragrance for the office, regardless of the season, it's best to consider the temperature inside the office rather than the temperature outside. So we're looking for a fragrance that goes well with a tie and dress slacks, leaning formal, that won't offend in close quarters, and is suitable for an average room temperature. So good choices here could include number 217, number 243, and number 277. So when you're talking about picking it out a fragrance for the office, you really want to, the reason you want to talk about the temperature inside the office rather than outside is because you're going to be in the office most of the day. You're not going to be outside. So, and then the reason you want to go with something that's sort of light and smooth is you don't want to offend people. You're with them eight to 10 hours a day, really close. So you want to go with something that's not loud. You don't want to go with number 174, number 163. You want to go with something that's a little bit, number 20, although number 20 is a blue fragrance, it's, it's really light. It's not, it's not going to offend. So 20 is another good one, even for a, t a room temperature sort of an environment. So that's sort of how to go about picking your fragrances. One more thing about picking out a fragrance for the office, even if, even if it's room temperature and if, and you're in the middle of, you know, a warm, a warm climated area, if it's right around Christmas time, you can be safe going with something that feels very Christmassy. That's more like a number 298 or a number 208 that you just smell it. And, and in fact, my wife smells number 298 and she's like, that smells like Christmas. That's what Christmas smells like. So that would be a good one to go with, even at the office. If it's, even if you're in a warm area, if you're within five or six days of Christmas. So that's sort of a caveat to the thinking about the temperature inside rather than outside. So let's talk about the giveaway on this update. We're gonna give away six different fragrances that are good for different occasions, different times of day, and different temperatures. So the first five people that comment down below on the update at Kickstarter, not over at YouTube, update or comment below the update right here at Kickstarter, and you're gonna get six different fragrances. So this is a really cool giveaway for those of you that are gonna be a part of this one. And then on the next update, just to give you a little bit of an idea what we're gonna be talking about next, it's gonna be Musk and Hustle Mixology. And this is based on a comment from Vipul Kumar Sharma. And he said, in one of the updates, could you please cover the mixology because it's something that's been a little bit confusing to me. And for those of you that are new, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So tune in uh, to the next update because it's gonna be a really good one. And until then, remember, stay musky, my friends.